Alrighty then. We have right here. Oh jeez. Another No Rush Mad Max 3v3. Ah, uh, they're going to push, do big mid push. Yes. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> Shout out on YouTube. Alrighty. So it always takes a bunch of time, of course, to build everything up since there's no attacks until the map maxes. They've been uh, strategizing. Uh, yeah, they're talking about stasis. This dude's checked out some videos, that's cool. Uh, So, yellow's massing tanks. So I'm, I'm guessing that means less, less wraith. We've always seen tanks and wraiths with the majority wraiths, <clears throat> and then it's virtually always guardian for the zerg and uh, gateway units with arbiters. So it does sound like they're doing the same sort of stuff. MP. What is this Claris? I just saw Claris, I swear to God. We Claris. Can we Claris? Then Claris can bomb. Oh, maybe it's a player. Okay. Clarice? <laughs> I don't know, man. It was talking about Claire. Okay, so I guess it's a player then. I was overthinking that one. Oh, it looks like uh, Blue actually guessed what the bottom team is going to do because they, they were saying they want to rush the mid. So a little meta, meta strategi strategizing going on here. Pretty interesting. We'll see who can get the jump. Looks like a couple extra, I don't know, virtually the same number. He's going to start fifth, sixth. Nope. Not yet. Oh, looks like that guy might. So yeah, he's got, oh, that's a barracks, okay. So he just put all his CCs over here. So I guess that's the meta, is five, uh, five command centers. Interesting. Whereas the Protoss always gets four. And Zerg, of course, with the hatcheries. So yeah, as always. Shit just gets building. And you don't stop until your fingers fall off. Well... And then the map maxes, and then you can relax a bit. But until then, you are just spamming the crap. Okay. Teal's a little lower on the APM compared to these guys, but that's where I would be. Cloud X with nearly 200. It's interesting. I wonder. Wonder how like one of the 
crazy pros who have like where they have like 300 sometimes 400 APM. Wonder they, how they were doing this. Cause it's probably kind of irrelevant. Uh, I mean, you probably get to squeak out a few more extra buildings, but <clears throat> uh, I'm guessing there's a bit more APM when you're actually attacking and whatnot. I don't know. We'll check on that, I guess. Pylon wall coming up. Orange is starting his. Yeah, they keep putting up these, uh, I don't know. They don't like, uh, putting cannons in the back here. I guess it kind of makes sense because they wall it in with another building here. So I guess the idea is they just don't want units able to actually get in, whereas cannons are... I guess, yeah, like, walling off the cannons on the inside. So I guess if there's, like, melee units, then they can't really attack these cannons. Maybe that's the idea. I don't know. I just build cannons from here to here. Just all around it. But that's, uh... That's probably not good to do because I'm just losing out on building time. That precious focus. Okay, we saw this one game. Usually what we've seen is Stargates in here. Doesn't really matter, of course, but... Since they build so freaking similarly, it's something of note. It's probably wiser to do that, isn't it? Although you might want more uh, pylon support, actually. Now that I'm looking at that. If that dies, you're not going to have any arbiters. That's not good. Uh, yellow. Oh, I thought he... Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was a mind-controlled hatchery. But nope, yellow's tearing. Still really want to see nukes. I guess it's just it put the team too far behind. I guess. Not too sure. So as always, nine of those, nine here. He did say he would make tanks specifically, but doesn't look like he's actually making more. Hmm, he lifted. I think that was just a mistake, but... Yeah, he is building a couple more. Okay, so he's going to lift these. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like they if they want extra tanks, they just throw down a few extras. Uh, on top of the nine. Oh, they're... Okay. Same from uh, blue, though. Wow. First time we've seen this, it's always been 9, and this time we're getting 12. Very interesting. And it's going to max in pretty much any moment now, by the looks of it. Arbiter's already out. You have to get that early energy. And the map max is now. Pretty fast. Eight, uh, 820 or so. I guess that's StarCraft time. I don't know if... I think they changed it so it was more consistent with real time, but I don't know. Not too sure about that. So, we only got to wait till 9.20 and they can start attacking. And who was it? The, yeah, it was the bottom team. They said they wanted to rush, I think. They're a little... yeah, they don't really have units to do that, though. Who's saying that? Probably much rush mid. Hope you're ready for it, because he's in the middle. Uh, 
Yeah. So yellow did want to rush, rush mid, and he can do it now. It's been a minute. Looks like he's not really, not really doing that though. Can't blame him too much. Ooh, maybe a bit, bit of a uh, lost production here. Just missed out on a couple gateways. So he's ready. He wants to push in here. And blue has tanks though, and there's storm as well. So that's pretty key. I don't know, this push could do a lot of damage though. It'd be nice if uh, if Orange actually had some like Zealots. Because Zealots can get in on the tanks and then it'd help uh, help Yellow to actually siege up. Man, this is really max, isn't it? These guys... Okay, yeah, their APM is a lot higher now. Uh, and they are not maxed in supply. Only Red is. Wow, so Red must have done, done early unit production uh... what? pretty sure that's red, red's arbiter but okay not too sure I don't see orange on the screen, there's an orange arbiter I guess that is orange's arbiter and is recall derped? I've had that happen to me before that sucks uh, nice stasis here from uh, Orange, I guess. Where's his Arbiter, though? Maybe his Arbiter got killed. So his recall failed, but... I mean, he didn't lose the units that way, so... Yeah, I don't mind this idea. They're gonna push, it looks like. Uh, SCVs here are actually gonna delay that somewhat. Funny enough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stasis... Oh, the mute is actually... Okay. Probably would have preferred the tanks, but okay, they're just going to storm the tanks. Yeah, this is going to be a big push, man. I don't know if these guys can hold. Red's down here with units, too, so he doesn't have much at home. And the map just maxed so quickly this game, so... Yeah, this is a little ugly, isn't it? Uh, Red is coming in with another recall. Lockdown, though. Yep, he gets it. So Red's, yeah, just pushing to the mid, help out here. Uh, looks like Wraiths could probably take this out. There's no Observer around. There's an Over... No, that's not theirs. Orange is over, uh, Observer here. Taking it out, though, nice. So these these Wraiths, yeah, he's going to be able to do that a bit. Uh, there's Detection now, though. So this push is pretty pretty tough, man. And blue doesn't really have tanks, actually. He's got four tanks, it looks like. Uh, he says go, I guess, for the Guardians. So, nice job uh, defending the Guardians is blue. Nice storms there. From red and orange returns the favor. Let's get rid of that. And Guardian pushes. Oh boy. So they probably will clean up the tanks for the most part. Oh, nice job from blue here. Yellow doesn't quite have the numbers he needs. But he is cleaning up this stuff, which is okay. Yeah, pretty even trade. And the key thing is they didn't kill any of the blue's production. They just kind of killed the hatches up front. So not the end of the world. And they did make hives, or purple did, rather. Uh, so this is going to take a while to kill that. But it is going to kill that. And they need to kill the Guardians. Oh boy, this is a deadly push, man. I feel like stasis is uh, needed. Again, though, this is going to delay things, this, uh, this infrastructure. But these tanks should probably back up. There's not really any ground coming anyways, so might as well save those. And he does, nice. Well, somewhat. Pulls him back a bit at least. And need a good stasis, but he doesn't have energy. Oh boy. Oh boy, and red's down here with a recall. Oh boy. This one might be all over, eh? Pretty decisive stuff. That map just maxed so quickly. I feel like no one really recovered from that. 
Don't ripple? Triple? Oh, triple attack. Yeah, that's one of the, the rules. Is it a rule for yellow, though? You can't triple attack the front? That seems weird. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're not technically doing that. I guess that's why red went this way instead. Not too sure. Wonder how strict they are. Like, if these wraiths just, like, cross the line here, then they instantly get disqualified. <laughs> I would laugh at that. But, he knows the rules, so he's not going to do that. Okay, nice job with the race here. Picking off the Overlord, very nice. And they are going to clean it up for now, but uh, I see more of this coming in. Oh, that's just SCVs and probes, though. Okay. So, they might be okay. They're trying, man. I don't think he got storms off or anything. Even if he did, he still got enough drones to recover their money looks like Teal could use a bit more gas but that's about it everyone else is good for money uh, Red's still down here though man he's got a recall ready that's pretty brutal so he's just putting on the pressure that's tank so that's yeah that, that's gonna be the key here isn't it not even sieging though he's uh, no observer oh my god I oh, just killing the Arbiter, that's smart. That works too. Oh, we got the recall last second. So this is going to be still a lot to deal with. Uh, Guardians are hatching here, so that's working out. And Blue coming in here, killing Arbiters and vessels and stuff. <clears throat> now he's coming in here because it's only Red. Yeah, he can attack in here if he wants. Uh, red, uh, oh, that's, yeah, Red. So yeah, I'm going to clean up some Guardians. Oh boy, that was some pretty pretty intense pressure, wasn't it? Uh, Blue's just chilling? What? What? What is this? What is going on there? Do they... I mean... Could be on move command, but that is odd stuff, man. Not too sure what that's all about. Okay, he finally does move. <laughs> and Orange starts attacking him. And there's a ghost there, which he finally killed, so he must have been on move command. That's so weird. Either that or he just allied for, for the lols, so I don't know. Oh boy, big push here. Guardians and, uh, and Hydras, that's a good combo, isn't it? Guardians can clean up the tanks and the, yeah, the Hydras, they're just the DPS, man. They're going to kill the buildings quite quickly. Nice stasis there, so not much Guardian pressure, but there's more. And the Hydras cleaning up this side. These guys are doing well, though. They got Guardians, and he still does have uh, nine, nine factories, even if these die, so... Tanks now, though. And more probes. Probes are deadly, man. Oh, three, three way, man. They're teaming. 3v1. DQ. DQ for that. That is just bad mannered. Uh, so, yeah, that's. I'm gonna assume that's GG, basically, because there's no more Wraith production. Still got good tank uh, tank production available, but not. Eh, he's got some wraith stuff going on, so I guess for now on he's just gonna have to stick with tanks for the most part. Switch up his play a bit if he survives. That is, of course. It's looking a little grim, isn't it? Here's uh, orange though. Nicely done from him. More Hydras just streaming. Oh, I didn't even see that Red did this again. So now no more units from Purple. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this... I don't see a comeback from this. Uh, and now, yeah. Teal rallying up there, so... 
virtually all the hatcheries are going to be dead from purple. And that's going to be no more guardians, no more... No more units. Orange doing his best, but... What can he do? He can get some storms, that's about it. Okay, nice tanks, but only three of them. Red has his own storms too, so... Yeah, he gets a nice one there, but so does Red, so yeah. Pretty... Looking pretty bleak, isn't it? And Blue still pushing up the tanks and the wraiths. And since... Uh, yellow only has wraiths to deal with the wraiths, he's severely outnumbered. A uh, nice tank amount there, though. This would be quite the comeback, I gotta say. They're trying, man. Never, never give up. Um, but he's gonna need to like spam out some hatcheries or something, cause he's got what, like maybe, maybe eight guardians, or no, he has nine actually. So he's nine guardians. And this push is pretty lethal looking. More starports going down. And the tanks, they don't really have a counter because that's that's why you need the guardians, right? So now Orange is just forced to engage, which she's gonna die quite handily now that especially now that there's Hydra's involved. Hydra's quite good against Dragoons, and yeah, this is I think um I feel safe in calling this a GG because Purple can't really help out much. He's trying to make some more Guardians, but to what end? To what end, I ask? Because now Orange, if he loses his production, then none of them have anything. Nice, nice uh, Wraith count here, though, so he's, I mean, He's trying still. He caught. He killed the. Uh, no, he killed the vessel, but the observer's still alive. So, yep, it's all over. Nice try, though. They were they were trying all the way till the end. Swift. I like it. It was pretty swift. It was kind of a counter, though, wasn't it? Because they tried to push up. They actually killed all this, and then the. I think the map was just so maxed that after that counter came, they just couldn't recover because because they had the map max and they couldn't build. So after that point, it was all downhill. Nice uh, those recalls over here for purple or for red in purple's base. Those were pretty pretty key. I feel like he killed those hatches pretty early and. I feel like Purple didn't really have the... He had a good number of guards to begin with when they first attacked, but yeah. You can see the unit score. A little low in that aspect. Yeah, he... Okay. He did produce. But as you can see, compared to the other Zerg, a lot less produced. Interesting stuff. So they were planning for an early attack, but... It was a little late, and on top of that, the counter just kind of wrecked him. Too bad. But it was still a good game. They fought hard to, uh, to try and come back, but... Too many Hydras, too many Guards, too many Tanks. And they couldn't quite do it. Alright, GG, well played.